Hello, Gemini viewers. I'm going to look into your situation. So it's whatever the cards want to say. It could be love. It could be money. It could be career. I feel like they want me to use my other deck, actually. They want me to use the tarot instead. Ace of Pentacles. Five of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. King of Cups. Let me put this up there for you guys. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Three of Pentacles. Okay. The sun, it's the most positive card in the deck. Five of swords. Three of swords. Hmm. There's really mixed energy here. Okay, so you're letting go of something that's not serving you. But... It's about to be replaced. Hmm. Okay, look, guys, don't shoot the messenger. And I'm going to try to get into a better story after this. I'm going to see what positive things are coming for you. Do not shoot the messenger, please, because I'm just relaying what I'm channeling and what I'm feeling from these cards. Some of you are holding on tightly to an old stagnant job or to a person like a like a karmic person that, you know, the situation is kind of over with them already. And unfortunately, if you keep holding on to it, it's going to cause further heartbreak. There's a warning here. Your spirit guides are not telling you that to hurt you. They're telling you to avoid this three of swords energy. And you would know what this is. Like intuitively, I think that you feel that it's time to let go of this job or this person. You know, take it as it resonates because this could be, this could be like a toxic father figure. This could be... um like a brother that that's been hurting you that's been abusing you and it you know it might be love it might be a job it it you know take it as it resonates it could be a family member or a friend or somebody else so take it how it resonates but it's basically that this has been hurting you for a while whoever this person is or whatever this situation is like if this is like a job it's like a job where you're having to do all the work and you're not getting much credit for it and you're kind of just bogged down it's like 10 of wands energy where you're just exhausted like you're just you're just being used. You're just, you're in a situation and your intuition is screaming at you to get out of that situation. You know, for some, for some, this is somebody that's pretending like they're, 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 um, they're feeding off your spirituality. They're exploiting your spiritual side. So they're pretending like they knew you in a past life or they're trying to make you think that they were like a father figure or something to you in a past life for some of you. There's different stories here, so take it how it resonates. But there's basically some kind of toxic energy that is male or female that's, you know, trying to make you see them in a certain light. So if this is like a work situation, it's like your manager doesn't want you to break free. They don't want you to realize you're being exploited and drained. They want you to just keep slaving away for them. You know, this could be like a manager that refuses to give you a raise or refuses to give you overtime, but they expect you to, to, you know, be there at their beck and call and try to guilt trip you when you're not, you know, someone that kind of gaslights you, someone that says like, oh, we're, we're working on giving you a raise or like we're, you know, we're short staff, but help us out. And you keep thinking that if you do this and this and this, eventually they're going to promote you to be a manager and they're not going to, um, or this is like a situation where you think if you do or say this with this person, you know, you can just get through to them. It's like a challenge. And, you know, I hate, I know it hurts a lot, but your spirit guides are coming through and saying this is going to lead to more heartbreak because your spirit guides have been telling you about this. They've been warning you for a while. This would not be someone that you feel good about. This wouldn't be someone that like you feel really close to, like they treat you well. Um, it's not like that. This is like someone where you, your body feels tense around them. Like you feel like you have anxiety attacks around them or your body feels really tense around them or you feel 
like when you see them call, like you get like a pit in your stomach or you just feel like off around them or you feel like you're being drained, like you feel exhausted, like a psychic vampire, like you feel exhausted after after you've been with them or like they're gaslighting you, like some of you look into gaslighting. If this resonates for you, please look up the word gaslighting. For those of you that are not familiar with gaslighting, look up gaslighting, research gaslighting. There's books on, there's entire books on gaslighting. Because a lot of people will gaslight you in the most subtle ways and you never see through it. And that's what's happening to somebody here is what I'm feeling to a lot of people here, actually. It, it's like you're, this person communicates in a way where they're able to, they're able to get what they want without giving you what you want. It's like you go to them, it's like a, like a toxic, for some I feel like this is like a coworker or a boss or something that's toxic, that's, you know, competitive, that's out to get you. And if you hold on to this job, it's going to end up in job loss, honestly. Like, it's someone's going to betray you. Like, you're fighting for it because you've been through so much for it already. But your spirit guides have something better for you somewhere else. Um, but it's like a gaslighting energy that I'm really, that's really coming through here. It's like, look into gaslighting, please. You know, if this is your story, please look into that. It's really important because I feel like there's somebody here who's watching this and you're like, what the hell is gaslighting? I've never heard of that. Like, and it's what's happening to you. So you need to know what it is. Okay. Please look that word up. Please study, study the art, read some articles on it online. Because that's just coming through so strongly where your guides have been screaming like you're being gaslit, you're being gaslit, you're being gaslit. And you're like, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. It's not funny, but, but, um, but yeah, it, it's like, it's that situation where someone is like putting the blindfold on over you and you know it, but you're going with it and it happens. That's the tricky thing about gaslighting is it can be so subtle that you can't even see through it. You, you don't realize it's happening. Because, you know, you're, you're just in that energy where it's like, you, you don't even, you, you know what I mean? Like, you're just kind of trapped in that energy where it's like, almost, I almost get the feeling like for some of you, you have conversations with this person and you go into it trying to set boundaries or trying to say this or trying to speak your truth and you leave feeling like they just took from you. Like you, like you didn't get what you wanted from that conversation. Like you go trying to communicate a certain way and they gaslight you and turn it back around on you. And you're like wait a minute, I, I just went to, I went to my boyfriend, or I went to my boss, or I went to this person, or my girlfriend, or whatever, I went to them, you know, to let them know I was concerned that they cheated on me, or to let them know I was hurt by something they said, or to let them know that, you know, I really want that raise finally, it's time, and you leave the conversation, like, like, you end up apologizing to them, like, they turn it around and play the victim, and like, you know, they, they just, they, they, they it's like wordplay, there's something with wordplay, like, they're really, like they analyze, they study, they, um, they're really good with words. Like they, they like to turn your words around on you, you know? So it's like, you go asking that, that boss for a raise and, and he or she is like, like, wow, like you don't appreciate us. Like you don't, you don't feel connected to your coworkers. Like you, really like they, like they make you feel bad or they make you, they make it about themselves. You know, it's like that kind of energy or like you go to your boyfriend or girlfriend and, and vent to them about something or tell them, you know, what you feel about a situation and they're, you know, you end up apologizing to them. It ends up being about what they're feeling instead of about what they're, what you're feeling. Like they end up talking about themselves. This person's very narcissistic too. Um, and I, 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 you know, please don't shoot the messenger because I always get people that are like, Whenever I do readings like this, I always get that one person that's like, oh, that's not my reading. That's not my reading. And it's like, I'm just going to delete comments like that because if this is not your reading, then it's not your reading. If it doesn't resonate, then it's not for you, you know, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry to be so blunt, but it's like that's one of like readers biggest pet peeves on YouTube is like I see other readers that are really annoyed with by that, too, is because people will comment and be like, this isn't my reading. This isn't my reading. Well, it's like, OK, it's for somebody else then. It's for some, you know, this is another energy group then that, that needs to hear these messages right now. You know, so it either resonates or it doesn't, but don't try to make it fit if it doesn't resonate. You know, you know what your story is, but, um, but don't be in denial either, you know, honestly, because this is something you would have felt like you would have, you feel this, you feel like you're being, um, you feel like you're, you feel like you're getting the short end of the stick. Cause it's like, it's like I said, you go to talk to this person about what's concerning you or what's upsetting you, um, 
Or this could be like a boyfriend or girlfriend where it's like you vent to them about what's going on in your with your day. You're like, damn, I had like such a hard day at work. I had this rude customer. And your boyfriend or girlfriend is like, you know what happened to me at work today? Blah, 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 blah. And they're just talking all about themselves. And you're like, how the hell did I come to my boyfriend or girlfriend almost in the verge of tears? And now they're telling me all about their day. Like I like I was trying to vent to them. I was trying to get some support. And they didn't say anything. They didn't support me. They just went on and on about what they went through, you know? This person's very shallow, very narcissistic. But your spirit guides are basically saying if you keep trying to build in this connection, it's going to lead to more pain. If you keep trying to force this to work, because this is a karmic lesson that was meant to wrap up. So this is like a situation where like you might be the karmic in a connection and it's like this was like a karmic relationship and you're you're trying to hold on to it and it's wrapped up. It's time for you to go meet your true love. It's time for your person to go meet their true love. Like you guys are going down separate paths now. Um, for others, I feel like for others, I feel like this could be like a like a job where it's like you, you know, you you keep thinking you're gonna get that raise because this person's breadcrumbing you. Whoever this King of Cups is. Could be a water sign too, or they could have a lot of water in their chart. This could also be a, a, a female water sign or, or, or a female with water in their chart. Take it how it resonates. But whoever this person is, they're breadcrumbing you. So it's like a boss that doesn't want you to quit. They want to keep giving you these little breadcrumbs. They want to say, oh, like, I'm going to get to giving a raise. I just haven't looked at the paperwork yet. Like, like or that boyfriend or girlfriend that's like, oh, we could, we could consider going to counseling, but I just have a lot going on right now. Like, just someone that just breadcrumbs you. Like, they give you just enough to keep you holding on, but not enough. Not enough. This person is an abuser, a manipulator, a gaslighter. And your spirit guides are just saying if you try to rebuild, you might go through a little phase where you feel like you're winning, but then it's going to lead to betrayal and heartbreak again. This could be like taking back someone that cheated on you. And you go through this honeymoon phase with them where you're like, oh, I think they changed. I don't think they're going to cheat this time. And then, you know, they're so happy to have you back. But once once they get comfortable again, they go back to cheating, you know. And I want to let you guys know that there's some men and there's some women that will just never hit someone. That will never cheat on somebody. That will never gaslight somebody like that. You know what I mean? Like... I'm not saying that a cheater can never change, but like, I don't think it's super likely. I think it's more likely that they're going to keep cheating, that that's, you know, same with like an abuser. Like I haven't, I don't, I don't know. I'm not saying it's impossible, but I don't think I've ever met a physically abusive person that's changed and, and ended up not being physically abusive. I honestly, I don't think I've ever met someone. Like I think they, they mostly continue down that path. Like, yeah, they can change, but usually it takes years of counseling this isn't like, oh, we went through like a six month, you know, break or whatever. And now we're coming back together and they're, they, they're suddenly a new person. It's like, nah, they seem like a new person probably in the moment. But if they haven't like actually gotten counseling, like they're they're it's going to be the same crap. And you feel this, like you feel this person's toxic. Like you, you know this, your intuition screams at you and you put the blindfold on because you don't want to see it. You don't want to deal with it. It's like, because you work so hard for this. That's the thing. Some of you is like ace of pentacles. It's like letting like someone's letting go of this connection. But then it's like you let it go. Like you start letting it go because deep down, you know, it's a karmic cycle. Deep down, you know, you deserve and want more. Three, three, three might be relevant too for you. But deep down at you, it's like, you know, whatever it is, your intuition, your higher self knows it's past time to let this go. Like, you feel this. Like, you don't feel good about this person. This would not be someone that you had, like, a really good, close, loving relationship with. There might have been good moments, but this is someone that used you. This is not someone that treated you like a king or treated you like a queen. No, this is somebody that your intuition screams at you that there's off vibes about this person. There can be, like, serial killer vibes with this person, honestly. Some of these people are, like, some of these, some of this, for some of you, this person is a sociopath or a psychopath. They have some skeletons in their closet, okay? And you don't you don't want to screw around and find out with this person, honestly. Some of them were abusive with you and you think that maybe with all the time that's gone by, they're going to be better and they've actually gotten worse. Um, so I just want to say that like your spirit guides are not trying to hurt you, but they're trying to give you a warning here so that you don't end up further heartbroken. And some of you, like this is a typical energy I see for those of you that have been through like abusive, uh, like had, you know, abusive childhoods. The angels want you to know they're around you too. 
um, as well as the gods and goddesses. But some of you have had abusive childhood, so it's normal to go for people that are similar to your mother or your father, like similar energy. And it's hard to end those patterns. It's really hard, but, but you know, you have to end those patterns. You have to end those, those cycles. Otherwise, you're going to end this connection and you're going to meet the same person in a different body. You're going to meet the same person in a different body if you don't end this pattern that you have. And you're going to go your whole life thinking all men are shit or all women are shit. And it's, it's not like that. It's, it's the kind of people that you're attracted to. You know, it's, it's not, it's like, there's plenty of good people around you, but you don't, you don't see them as, as physically attractive. Have you ever noticed like really happy couples? Have you ever looked at a really happy couple and like saw, seen the man or the woman and been like, damn, like I would not be attracted to that person at all. It's like, cause you don't resonate with that. Like physical perception is, it's amazing. Like, like your perception, your body, like, um, your subconscious mind, like your childhood experiences, all of that actually paint the way that you physically see people. So you'll, you'll actually look at good people and physically not be attracted to them. And you'll look at abusive people and like your the body language, like the, I don't know if it's like the pheromones or what, but it's like the body language, like you'll, you'll just feel drawn to them. Like, and you have to be mindful of that. You have to be mindful when it's, it's that kind of instant. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like you can have like soul recognition with people. Um, and have that soul connection. So I'm not saying it's always bad if it's instant. A lot of times it is. It can be really good if it's instant. But like when it's like body language and you can tell it's body language, like something feels off about them, but you think they're attractive. It's like you kind of need to be more mindful. You know, a lot of your best relationships are going to be with people that you're not fully attracted to at first. But like you you get to know them and you develop this. You, you have this soul recognition, like you develop this deep bond and they're not your usual type. You know what I mean? Because some of you have that pattern. And I think some of it, some, sometimes you need counseling for that. Sometimes you do need to go through therapy to end those patterns. You know, it's, it's hard to end them. Because not only do you have to end them and cut the toxic people out, but you also have to replace those old patterns with new patterns, with, you know, manifest with um, being attracted to and manifesting good people, you know, knowing what that looks like. Because so many people that have been through abusive relationships, like they don't realize they're being abused because they're used to it. You know what I mean? Where it's like someone talks down to you or gaslights you and you're so used to that you think that's just how everybody is. And then someone that's in like a healthy, positive relationship looks in on that relate looks in on your relationship and is like, damn, you let them you let him talk to you like that? You let her talk to you like that? Like that's that's not normal. Like that's not no, what are you thinking? Like, you know what I mean? And it's like, well, it's cause it's different experiences, different childhood patterns, different, you know what I mean? So some of you really need to fix that. Otherwise, like I said, you're just going to end this connection and you're going to find the same person in a different body. Some of you need therapy for that. Honestly, it's it's not it's not easy to end that. You know what I mean? Like some of you need a, a, someone with like psych, like psych, psychological background to really help you with that. Um, if those are if those wounds are really deep, you know what I mean? Because you don't want to repeat this pattern forever. You want to nip this in the bud early on. Because a lot of people spend their lives like in abusive marriages, abusive connections, and they regret it. When they get in their 40s, 50s, 60s, they look back and they're like, damn, I wasted 10 years with a man that hit me or a woman that hit me or abused me and gaslit me and cheated on me. Like, damn, I wish I could get those years of, of my life back. Like some of you are going to, if you stay in this cycle, some of you are going to look back on this and be like, damn, like. I wish I had just given up on that. I wish I had, I wish I could just get those years of my life back that I wasted. And that's someone, someone has that mentality here too, where you're like, you're like kind of letting it go because your intuition and your higher self knows that you deserve better. But like part of you is like, Seven of Pentacles is about hard work, perseverance, patience, like, like she's bleeding here. She's bleeding for something. It's like they put the blood, sweat and tears into something. So some of you are like not wanting to let go just because it's familiar and because you put so much into it that you're afraid that you're never going to love again if you let this person go. Some of you are like, oh, hell no. Like I went through four years of, of heartbreak with this person, so I can't let this go. Like I can't let that all be for nothing. But it's like, dude, get out while you can because be thankful it's only four years. And I'm not saying that it's okay. I'm not down. I'm not under underplaying what you've been through. I'm just saying like, okay, it's been four years already. For some of you that you've gone through this trauma and this heartbreak with this person or this job, this whatever this energy is for you, do you really want to go through another year, another four years, another five years? Like, 
quit while you're ahead. You know what I mean? Like that's more reason to quit that you already wasted those years of your life. Do you really want to waste more years of your life on this? You know what I mean? Like get, get out of this energy and get, get some help to end those cycles so that you don't just find the same person in a different body. You know, some of you do need to do some shadow work and do need to seek out a therapist. Um, and I'm, I'm not like, I'm not qualified to, um, you know, full disclaimer, I'm not qualified or anything to give professional advice, but that's just what I'm feeling from this energy. But it's like, yeah, someone here is like, well, I bled for this. Like, I've been at this job for years. I've been in this, this connection. I've been, this has been on and off, hot and cold for years. You know, I, I put so much into this. Like, what am I going to be? It's almost like you don't know. Some of you don't know who you are without this. It's like, how am I going to feel if I let this person or this job or this situation go? Um, what am I going to have? Like, I, I put so much into this. Like, like some of you are afraid of going through that dark period of time after a really bad breakup where it's like, you feel hopeless. You feel like you wasted so much of your, your time, your life away. Like you feel like, like you don't want to love again. Like you can't trust anybody again, but it's like, go through it. Honestly, just go through it. Cause if you keep putting the blindfold on and keep being in denial and you keep fighting for this, when your spirit guards are telling you, Hey, this, this is a karmic lesson. You learned the lesson already. They learned the lesson already. It's, it's the karmic cycle is over, but someone's still holding on to this. Someone is trying to force this to work when it's not working anymore. And you can tell because your spirit guides keep pushing you and pushing this person, you pushing, pushing you away from the situation or this person and pushing them away from you. And you're trying to like force this. Some of you are trying to do like reconciliation magic or trying to do like love spells. You're trying to do whatever you can to make this happen. And it keeps like not working or it's just like, like the karmic cycle's over. So it's like your spirit guides are like, they just don't want to see you keep hurting yourself like this. You know, it's like eight of swords energy. It's like they don't want to keep see they don't want to see you keep hurting yourself this way. You know, because this this car the cycle is over. It's over, honestly. I hate to say it. I know it hurts, but but some of you are holding on because you're like, oh hell no, like I put too much into this. I, I put so much of my time, my energy into this. I can't let this go. You know. And your spirit guards are saying that, like, yeah, you they'll have a phase with this. You'll have some false hope here, honestly. Three of Pentacles, the sun. Three of Pentacles is, um, it's 22, 22. So three of Pentacles is about building together. And the sun is about like moving forward, positive energy. So you're going to go through this little phase where the sun's shining again and you feel like, you know, like your heart chakra is opening and, you know, you're going to build with this person or you're going to get that raise at the job. You're going to get promoted. You're going to be appreciated. This person's really changed, yada, yada. And then they're going to do the same shit again. They're, they're breadcrumbing you. They're gaslighting you. I'm sorry. I know. Yes, I did just apologize to an inanimate object. <laughs> they're gaslighting you. They're breadcrumbing. Whoever this person is, and this could be like a toxic manager or someone, whoever, you take it as it resonates, toxic coworker, whatever. Whoever this person is, they're breadcrumbing you. They're going to betray you. If they cheated, they're going to cheat again. If they hit you, they're going to hit you again. They haven't changed and your intuition is telling you that they have not changed. Like you feel that, like, you know, they haven't changed. You know that already, like you can feel that energy, like, like some of them are desperate to have you back. So they're like blowing up your phone, like, baby, I can't live without you, blah, 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 blah. And like, you're like, Ugh, like they're pulling at your heartstrings and you have to be strong because yeah, you might go through like the honeymoon phase with them where you feel like you guys are building together. Like all oh, this was for something. Yay. And then the, the backstabbing comes back, the betrayal, the, the cheating, the lying, the abuse, not saying, not following through, not doing what they say they're going to do. And you're going to be heart, heartbroken all over again. You're going to be in the three of swords and you're going to be forced to let this go. You're going to have to pause and reflect and let it go. What happens after that? What happens after you let it go? I hate to, I know, like, don't shoot the messenger, please, because I know you guys are probably upset. You're probably watching this and be like, what does this bitch know? Like, I'm sorry, this is just the message. It's it's either for you or it's not, you know? Like, don't tell me it's not your reading, because if it's not your reading, it's not your reading, you know? Like, you know if it's your reading or not. Yeah, the karmic cycle ending, looking ahead, looking to the long term. You're going to have abundance. See, this person was blocking your abundance. So this is if this was like a work situation... I feel like they're trying to keep you because you're their you're their best employee. 
But if you leave, you're going to have another job or another career. Like maybe some of you want to start your own business, but this this little this employer is trying to gaslight you, breadcrumb you into staying with them into it's like it's basically a connection where they benefit but you don't benefit. Be it love, be it work, whatever it is, this is a connection where this person, this psychic vampire here, male or female, benefits from this, but you do not benefit anything from it. And you know that. And you keep, you you know that. You feel that. Because like I said, you have these conversations where you're like, damn, I didn't get anything out of that. Like I, they turned the conversation around on me. What was that? Um, but yeah, if you end this cycle, like you're gonna, you're gonna be okay. And you're gonna, you might go through a phase where it's like, yeah, you have to do some soul searching. You have to find yourself again. You have to get some help to end these cycles. But then you have the Ten of Pentacles. So this is like entrepreneurship. This is like a new job, a new career, more money. You know, being somewhere where you're appreciated. Two of Pentacles. You're going to be juggling. You're going to be busy. You're going to be busy. You're going to be the Empress. You're going to be in your power. You're going to be busy. You're going to be, you're going to have the energy again to, to, to go. I see like a busy schedule, but it's like positive. Like I see you like you're going to counseling or you're working or going out to dinner with friends. You're, um... You're living your life again. You haven't been living your life. You've been focused, so focused, so so tied up in this, whatever this is. You haven't been living your life. You've been neglecting your friends. You've been neglecting self-care. You know, and you're gonna be in this energy where you have this balance where you're like, you're you're doing all the things you need to do. Kind of wands are reversed. Yeah, and you're not letting this person come in all quick, all quick and manipulative, like you're being balanced. You're not giving in to the emotion. You're um you're balancing now. You're being more logical. The, a counselor, I keep getting counseling. For some of you, you do need you've considered counseling, and, and this is like a, a sign that it's time to go to counseling, that you need the counseling, find the right counselor. Sometimes it's a process, you can't always find the right counselor right off the bat, but keep looking until you find the one that resonates for you. It's important. This counselor, this guide is gonna teach you temperance. They're gonna teach you how not to give in to this, this psychic vampire succubus kind of energy. They're going to teach you to balance logic and emotion, how to balance, you know, some of you have like mental imbalance, like chemical imbalance, I'm hearing, um, like untreated mental issue, mental disorders or something. Um, like, cause I'm hearing like imbalance, like something like serotonin. I don't know what it is. I don't know, like some kind of imbalance. And this therapist is going to help you find that balance. And you're going to be the empress. You're going to be in control of your life. You're going to be joining social groups. You're going to be, you know, it's, your story is important too. So some of you might be like, like giving public speeches or, or telling other people, helping other men or women through this energy, helping other people that have been in this gaslighting kind of energy. Like you're going to be in the public eye for a lot of you, I feel, with the Hierophant energy and also joining social groups, like making new friends. Yeah. Five of Pentacles. What, what about the Five of Pentacles? Yeah, justice. You're going to have justice for how you are wronged. Like some of you, this person stole money or they, maybe you were meant, to, for those of you that this was like a job, it's like you were meant to have a lot of money a long time ago, but this employer kept breadcrumbing you and kept you tied down and exhausted. So you couldn't really leave that job, but you're meant to have a lot of money. So for those of you that this was like a, like a financial loss, like your, your spirit guides are saying they're going to replace it. There's going to be justice that was served because you were not meant to be in the five of pentacles energy. This karmic cycle, like you hold, held on to this karmic cycle. So it caused you to be in the five of pentacles energy, which is like job loss, uh, financial losses, poverty, anxiety, loneliness, depression, which was never meant to, to happen, you know? So you're going to have justice come in where you're going to have the things that have been meant for you. But you have to let go of this karmic cycle first. You know what I mean? You have to let go of this person, like, because you know, you feel the, the tension. You know what I mean? Like, this isn't, it's not, it's not flowing smoothly. Like, you have to fight for this all the time. This is like a situation where you have to do constant spell work on this. And then it, it, there's always like a bat, like something backfires or something like, there's always, there's always a pushback. There's, you know what I mean? Like, it's just not working out for you. And, you know, I know it's a harsh reading, but it's like, honestly, do you want to keep going through that? Or do you want to free yourself from this now? Because if you keep going through this, you're going to be more exhausted. You're going to be more heartbroken. There's going to be another betrayal. Even if you go through a phase where everything seems great, you know what I mean? Like, you know, intuitively that it's only a matter of time before this person cheats. 
betrays you, lies, does whatever they used to do. You you know that. Your intuition is telling you that. You already know this. Um, so your guys are just trying to save you from future heartbreak, you know, because they want justice to be served. They want you to be the empress or the emperor here and manifest your ten of pentacles, which is like I said, I just see you going to like counseling. I see you having friends. Like I see you like pursuing hobbies, just like having fun, living your best life. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I think it's not going to be as painful as you think it's going to be. I think that it's just familiar. Like, I think if you're honest with yourself, some of you don't love this person. Some of you don't love this person anymore. Not all of you, but some of you don't. Some of you have just been in this energy so long that it's familiar. It's comfortable. It's all you've known for the past, you know, few years or however long. So you're, you're asking yourself these questions like, what will I have without it? But like intuitively, you know that this is just familiarity. That's It's not true love. And you can feel that. So do you really want that familiarity? Do you want to keep this cycle up and, and waste your life away on this? Or do you want to end this and free yourself and, and maybe go through a, a little bit of a dark period, but then come out on the other side brighter and stronger than ever and manifest your true love and your Ten of Pentacles and justice and being the emperor, the empress and having, you know, the world be your oyster, you know, manifesting the life that you want. I honestly don't think you're going to be as heartbroken as you think you're going to be if you finally let this go. Some of you have just been holding on so tightly that you haven't even... It's like autopilot where you just fight and fight and fight for this, but you haven't even stopped to ask yourself what you're fighting for anymore. You haven't stopped to ask yourself, like, is this even making me happy anymore? Do I even still love this person? Like, some of you need to do some shadow work and really be honest with yourself finally and ask yourself these questions. Because this karmic cycle is over and it's like, do you really want to keep doing this to yourself? You know? Because some of you are just like in fight mode where you just keep fighting for this so much that you're not even asking yourself if this makes you happy anymore. And if some of you just pause and get in that hanged man energy and just reflect on this and just let go for a minute, you're going to like get into a, like a meditative state and realize that this person or this, this job or this situation does not even fulfill you anymore. You're holding on to long past energy. You're holding on to how they were years ago. You know, like you're holding on to how things could have been a long time ago, like you're in this vicious cycle that you need to get off the merry-go-round or you're going to waste your life away, to be honest. It's it's a blunt reading. I know. I'm sorry, but your guides don't want that for you. They want justice. They want you to be happy. They want you to have more than this because this is going to lead to more heartbreak if you keep holding on to it. It's like your spirit guides are going to push this out of your life and sometimes they do that in really harsh ways because it's like they that, that cycle's ended. They want more for you. They want you to have your true love, not someone that you're just familiar with. They want you to have love. You know, they want you to have this energy, this Ten of Pentacles, Empress, Justice, all this good energy here that's just waiting for you on the other side of this. If you're just willing to let go of this karmic cycle finally and move towards what genuinely makes you happy. You feel me? So anyway, I hope this resonates. Um, please subscribe, share, like. Uh, comments, uh, donations are appreciated. And email me if you want a reading. I can look into, you know, what, what new love is coming in, what you need to know about this situation, whatever you want to know. So thank you guys for watching.